So you want to know what I find strange, Simon? Drug Squad busts you on importing heroin. And instead of trying to pass the charge with them, you call us in on a 12-year-old homicide that's already been solved. You think it's solved? Eight years old. What do you do? That's Colleen Walsh. She's the one who discovered her family. Hope she had a good shrink. Listen to me. I'm not about to bring her in on this nightmare because some low-life dealer says the cops didn't do their job the first time around. I helped you solve a murder that's got to be worth something. You guys can talk to drugs for me, right? Yeah, and if we find out you're smoking us, we'll talk to them all right. And you'll be facing ten years, and you'll have two very unfriendly escorts. I know what I know. Walsh was moving into hard drugs. That's why he was killed. And there's a guy. The Rev. Is he in there? Who the hell is the Rev? He used to work with Walsh. After Walsh's death, he took over his business. You find him, find the Rev. He'll tell you who really killed that family. You better. Remember the Walsh family murders? Yeah. You always remember the ones that killed their own kids. Were there ever any theories that it could have been something other than a murder suicide? No. Nah. Bullet angles, entry and exit wounds, it all checked out. Plus, they had a history of willing on each other. You saw the hospital records. Yeah, yeah, we saw them. Broken arms, broken collarbones. But him, too. Well, the wife stuck up for herself, as far as she could, anyhow. I heard the girl before I saw her. This awful whimpering sound. You found her curled up next to her brother, shaking. So that's Colin's little man. Uh huh. She was by herself when you got there? Yeah. Did she contaminate the scene? Well, it was still clear what happened. And what was that? One gun shot this family. Ballistics was clear on that. What are you trying to say, that I didn't close this case? We got a tip. It suggests that Blair Walsh might have been moving into harder drugs, and that there might have been a motivation to kill him. Walsh was a pot dealer. That was it. We asked around. He wasn't stepping on anybody's toes. He was well-liked. The whole family was. Did you ever come across someone named the Rev? Hey, if it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, this was a double homicide and a suicide. End of story. Walsh shot his family and killed himself and left all his problems behind for that little girl to clean up. I got an A. I got an A on my performance review. You're stuck with me. They don't give A's. They let you keep your job. Yeah, well, that's an A where I come from. You hear me, Frank? I got an A. Congratulations, eh? I got an idea for you. What? You help me with this audit and I'll take you out for dinner. Sorry, I'm already moonlighting with Hank in the evidence room. His department pays me time and a half. But if you want to cut me a deal. Hey, Nico. Take a look at this. You remember a case a couple of years ago? Family's out running with their new German Shepherd. And suddenly, with no warning, dog chases the wife down, goes straight for her throat. And the weird thing is, 
husband just stood there and watched. Hmm. Angry German Shepherd? I think I'd stand there too. Maybe you should go talk to him. No bad dogs, Frank, just bad owners. Yeah, well, this guy was that, all right. I have to say, I didn't expect to hear from the police all these years later. Well, there's been some news regarding your son's death. News, Detective? My son killed himself and his family 12 years ago. How can there be news? You said it surprised you, the shooting. 